Good morning, you cracking humans. Welcome to the Cycling Maven channel. Well, Rob's looking for me to come up to the apartment and check it out. Mate, the view out there this morning is off the chain. And some power ponters. Well, as I sit here, it is... Mate, I've got no idea what day it is. I think it's Friday or Saturday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Having a coffee um, in my awesome little apartment overlooking the mountains. I can't get over the view. The view's off the chain. Like, I can't even take a photo of it. I can't video it and really convey to you how amazing the view is. But uh, it's Friday and the tour finishes on Sunday. I cannot believe how quickly this last week's gone. It has literally gone so fast. And I'm sort of a little bit sad, you know? Like, I'm a little bit devastated that this whole dream of mine has, is slowly coming to an end. But I'm also really excited to get home and get back into my, my normal life and see Hanny and, and definitely get back into training. I am turning into a big moose. I'm just eating so much food and just having such a good time and drinking so much beer and yeah, it's just, it's once in a lifetime, you know. I mean, will I be back next year? Look, I'd probably like to, but the reality is we've got to work, you know. We've got to, got to earn the dollars and... Trying to get leave from work is a very difficult thing, especially when you need to take compulsory leave at Christmas. So we'll see. Uh, I don't even think I'll be going to the Tour Down Under this year because of all the leave and the and leave without pay I've taken from my day job uh, for this tour. I won't have any leave for the Tour Down Under. So uh, eventually, who knows what may happen with the vlog? Who, may, who knows what may happen with my career? I don't know, but... Uh, I do like my job, so you know, the plug be here. But for now, I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to take in this beautiful view, and then I'm going to go meet up with the boys. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> it was hard to find, wasn't it? But it's a bit weird because there's no numbers, but all good. Okay, we've just stopped at the uh, finish of the time trial up in the mountains and uh, this is a beautiful little town here so the atmosphere is a lot more electric today. Here with Matty after his, uh, <laughs> was a hard time trial? Yeah. How uh, was it man? Um, I hadn't seen the course which I don't know whether that was a good thing or a bad thing but uh, <laughs> I thought someone said it kind of went downhill at uh, two and a half k to go or something, but uh, carried on a bit longer. Um, it's always one of those stages like we want to save ourselves and kind of have a rest day going into the mountains again for the last two days, but uh, you're always worried about time cut. You're never sure how fast Froomey and Richie are going to go. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing that you've got to ride pretty much your max just to be within it's 10 so minutes of them. I never thought about that, hey? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're taking it easy, and but you're constantly like, well, is this too easy? Is it, you know, and then if you get back and you find out you've you spent more energy than you needed to, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a tactic of, of uh, just trying to do a nice tempo. Um, and you also need to keep going. I mean, not like we do on the rest day, we don't just yeah. stop, but... Uh, yeah, I think I did all right today. I blew up a bit on that steep bit. There's a real steep bit at about, what is it, about 5k to go. Yeah. So I just went a bit too deep there and okay. paid for it later, so. What are you gonna do now to warm down? You get on the train or? Uh, our hotel's halfway down the down the hill, yeah. on the parkour, so just ride back there, I think. Okay. Have a massage, jump in a ice bath. Have a few beers. Not yet, <laughs> wait for Paris, mate. Um, so, still two more days to go and 
you know, trying to get to the end of my first tour, so. No. Awesome, dude. Yeah, you're, you're making us all very proud. Yeah, a bit incognito in the bunch there. I haven't done much, but uh, helping the ATA out as much as I can and doing what I can. And there wasn't that many opportunities, actually. And, and the day we did have an opportunity, the boys railed it, you know, with, yeah. with three guys in the break. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Unreal. Yeah, no, it's been a great tour for us, and the atmosphere's great. Everyone's really happy? Yeah, yeah, oh, over the moon. The way Yates is riding, we got our stage. You look at it, break it down, there's not many stages, are there? No. We saw, uh, Cav takes four, Sargon gets greedy, Dumoulin's already got two, he might get another one today. Yeah. Um, doesn't leave much for the rest of us, does it? No, that's right. So, yeah. no, good How are you though. enjoying the tour? I'm, I'm having a ball. Yeah? Missing. Yeah, I'm having the best time, man. Yeah. It's so good. Have you been watching the vlogs? Uh, I've seen a few. I've seen a few. I don't know where I came across them, but <laughs> and I don't know where you come from, to be honest. I feel like I know you, but really? I've... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've come across them and become a bit of an internet sensation, haven't you? Well, yeah, it's, it's taken off. It's taken I'm, off. I'm pretty happy, you know. Yeah. I'm having a great time, though, you know. Yeah. This is a, a once-in-a-lifetime for me, yeah. mate, so yeah. I'm making the most of it. Yeah. No, and I must admit, uh, being in the tour, oh, I don't have much idea on what's actually going on in the tour. Yeah, that's so true. I, uh, I know the riders around me every day and everything, but I couldn't. I, we were about 10k from the hotel yesterday, and I said, "Who won the stage?" Yeah. I had no idea that Zachary yeah. had won. Yeah. I knew there was a group up the road, and I knew Froome and Port and, and that. But you just, you just miss out on the whole circus when you're in it. Yeah. If you yeah. want to. If you want to actually be in the tour, you're probably better off sitting at home watching the TV, watching all the wrap-up programs and all that kind of stuff. Mate, when you're here, I don't... Spitting, like, I can't agree with you more. Yeah. Like, being a part of it, I'm like, I don't even know what the hell's going on most of the time. Yeah, you and might... I don't even know where I'm staying. Yeah, you might check the, check the results every now and again, but... Uh... Yeah, like I've, I've followed the tour at home in Belgium and with all the shows that are on before, the, to, after the stage and you get a, all the interviews, you kind of know a bit more what's going on and yeah. here you're just in your own little world and yeah. just going from day to day and actually trying to enjoy it a bit too. Yeah. Um, like yesterday we had ample time to make the time cut, yeah. you know, just hanging out with Durbo and, and uh, Bling and yeah. we just enjoyed the crowd a bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. So Good sometimes you, you got to just get out of your own little stress zone and just enjoy enjoy doing it yeah i mean it's a long time too it's three weeks yeah, it's not yeah. like it's four by the time you four yeah. yeah by the time you leave home till the time you get home i left tuesday before the tour and yeah. i won't get home till monday afternoon so yeah. it's four weeks all right legend well, no thank you, it's, mate. you cracking it's a, humans it's an honor like that, isn't yeah, it? That's it. You, you know cracking it. human what an absolutely awesome bloke Matty is he's uh he's over there getting signatures and just getting photos with people and selfies and uh, he is just such a dude. There's no ego whatsoever, and he's a professional cyclist. So that is what we want more pro riders to be like. Kunde foran Jerome Coppel, men han tapt tre sekunder til Coppel fra forrige mellomtid og til denne. At least they'll go down fighting. So we look at Fuglsang here, arms resting on top of the handlebars, as if he's got time trial bars on the bike. Hello. I'm here with Benjamin. Hello, Rob. Benjamin uh, Profit. Profit. I never knew. I've known him for a long time, and he he looks after the guys from NBC. He's uh, sort of like their babysitter when they're in France. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you very much. And, uh, welcome on the NBC truck, NBC uh, uh, not for SM. And let's see. Have a look at uh, the studio. Can you show us around? Yes. Come on. Hey, follow me. This is uh, our office, production office, with Fred and Nicola. They are working uh, uh, for uh, five years, seven years. And that's all, we go up to the studio. Hopefully, they are not on air tonight. Hi. Ah, this is uh, Amelia. She's Hello. Doing the... How are you? Very well. You're makeup. the makeup artist, is that makeup right? Nice to see you. Okay. Makeup artist. Likewise. And this is uh, free, it's, uh, it's the rest, you know, they're not working. Uh -huh. so we'll just wait. Bonjour. They will be on air uh, he's, tonight. He's not a bonjour. Uh, right? uh, uh, and here, if, if we can see in the dark, there's Bob Roll down having a rest a few days after his birthday. Happy birthday for the other day. And Christian Vanderveld. What's going on? I'll see if I can get the light so that it's working. Thanks very much. And I can hear Jens, but I can't see him. Sometimes you just a friend. A friend. 
and Rob. Todd Harris. Nice yeah. to meet you, Todd. Nice to meet you as well. The manager. Uh, so that this that's is a. So that's the NBC that studio. That wasn't unlucky. That was a bike change, wasn't it? All very dark, but we'll get out of here. Let's go to see the big truck and the edit truck. Very good. Still, uh, production of here with Andres. Some the professional coloring in. Yeah, they're working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our thunder, storage truck. And um, it's a very small one, but the Obi truck. That's a small one? It's very, very small, small one. You can see. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So there's a little bit of equipment there. So that's a bit of uh, production central. I'll let them do the work and I won't interrupt. And so Ben's going to keep showing us around, but I'll just show you a, a distant shot of where we were before. Wow. So that's the NBC studio. Yeah. And it all, it all fits, folds down and fits into the size of a combi. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit bigger. And here is the edit truck. Uh-huh. With Kevin, with Ali, with Hello Michel, okay. uh, with Michelle. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry to do the usual uh, thing. No problem. Mayan is working here. Uh, hey. Hello, hello. And then also uh, Michel, uh, Mich uh, Julie, and Cross. Uh, well, okay. That's what they're doing here. What are, doing? what are we doing now? I'm just doing a bit of an edit. Ah, yes. yes. We are cutting together a compilation of all the crashes from this year's Tour de France. Okay. So it's. Uh, been quite an eventful uh, tour. I'm trying to do it justice. Bring, uh, bring the drama. And which is the most dramatic of the crashes? Oh, the most dramatic of the crashes. Wait, wait. It's always going to be watching the yellow jersey run up a mountain. Let's have uh, another look. Because we can't get sick of that one. That's why I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. A scene that we never thought we'd see. Yes, I don't think anybody's ever seen that, so his aftermath. And now we're going to watch it on high rotation. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, hey, thanks guys. Thanks for showing Thank us around. You. Okay, cheers. cheers. Good to see cheers, some uh, core strength. Uh, nice. <laughs> Alphilippe also. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, Still going. Okay, thanks guys. Let's go to see the last truck. One more. Yeah, one more. Where is it? Aha. We're just trying to find the last of the trucks for NBC, but um, I think it's been lost in the compound. Oh no, 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 here he sounds pretty excited. Ah, just at the base of the old girl. Here they're doing the statistics. Hello. Everyone, they are doing statistics. Ah, the statistic guys, okay. What's the best stat for the day? You have time to explain what you're doing here? Uh, no. If you hurry on. Yeah. 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 There you go, that's a, a real quick spin around the NBC compound in the zone technique. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Ben, we thank just want to guys. say a big thank you. What? 
Thank you. See you uh, next time on the Tour de France. Thank you to be with us and to follow the Tour de France. So there you go. Uh, we've seen, you've seen the SBS. Thanks to Mark, he's shown you all around that. But as you can see, there's always bigger and better at the Tour. Uh, the NBC uh, guys have been uh, contracted for years and they actually signed a 10-year contract not that long ago. So they're committed to the Tour. Everyone thinks it's all about YouTube, but television's still very much alive, apparently. So, mate, you just went and saw Shane Archibald. The mullet man himself. The mullet man, how is he? He's He's in good spirits considering he's in so much pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolute, yeah, superstar. Yeah, shame to see him out the race, but happy to see him smiling and up and about. Oh, well, not up and about, down and. Apparently, chilling. he just wanted to get on a bike. You're quite right. Spoke to the mechanic this morning, and he yeah. said the first thing he said, he picked himself up off the ground. The mechanic said, like, "You're right," and the mechanic said the first thing Shane said was, "Give me a." Bike. You're kidding me. Yeah, but Mate, that is a typical Kiwi. Hardcore. Kiwis are like hard hardcore. Yeah. So you're writing an article on this? Yeah. Cycling tips is gonna be up tomorrow. Hopefully tonight if I'm a good boy. Get going now. Right. Okay. Ciao. We're gonna read it. We're, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna read it. Everyone's gonna go and read it. Cool. Right. I've asked Francois to do an interview with some of the coffeeist guys because they're just next to our table at the restaurant. So I'm gonna pass the camera over and he's gonna have a first go at vlogging. Here we, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling totally silly about it. Bon, bon, bonsoir, monsieur. I'm not good. Not no. so good. No, no, it's not so bad. No, no, yes, it's bad. I'm sure it's <laughs> very <good>. bad. <laughs> Luis, you're on a guy who couldn't go on the, on the break in a mountain station. Man. We I tried, know. but uh, it's not easy. But we tried, for sure. <laughs> just try to, to finish the, the stages tomorrow. In the group at all. Yeah. Christophe? The same. The same. <laughs> okay, Christophe, tell us about the Champs Elysees. You know, you've been in the, in the, in the well, top 10 five times, I think. So, Champs Elysees might be an opportunity. Five is better. <laughs> top five is mieux que top 10. At quoi. least. <laughs> But uh, how about top two or top three or top, yes, one, or top, top one? one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On verra. Hein. Bon. On verra. Okay. C'est bon. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank J'ai pas du tout fait ce qu'il fallait, mais bon, <laughs> je vous donnerai le lien pour aller voir ça. C'est sur, sur SBS. Salut les gars. <laughs> so that was Francois' first vlog. That was absolute gold. Well, I'm a legend, are you? Well, I mean, look, look at the pictures, and you'll be you'll be disappointed. You know, I, I was moving the thing around all the time, and I'm sure it's utter crap from A to Z. <laughs> so we uh, we couldn't get out of town because there was too much traffic. So we've decided to stop at a really nice restaurant and have something to eat, have a couple of drinks, and then we're going to shoot home. But we thought we'd do a quick post-race review. Um, is it a post-race review? Is it a review? Yeah, it's a review, yeah. Well, it's a post-view. Post it's a post-view. Yeah, <laughs> post-race review. I've had two beers, so this is not going to be great, but Francois is coherent, so I'm going to throw it to him. Uh-huh. It's always me, you know. I'm, I'm always coming to your rescue when you've had a couple of beers. Anyway, today we had a time trial <laughs> And it was won by Chris Froome. That's 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 that that was the most important part. No, the thing there was two things struck me. One, when he finished the time, usually when a rider fin when riders finish a time trial, they all bend on the bikes trying to you know snatch as many seconds as they can for the you know for the uh, GC or wh whatever their objectives are. And uh, Chris Froome didn't do that today. He you know held his fist high and you know punched the air like like it won the tour the last time i, I saw a rider punch the the the, the, the air in, you know in in uh, victory like this was uh, bradley wiggins in 2012 but it was but it was the difference was it was the time travel the day before paris it meant it was finished the tour was wrapped up it was sealed he had won it 
and the, the fact that Chris from did it with still three days to go and two mountain stages to go says a lot about the lack of suspense in this tour. As far as victory is, is concerned, it's dead, finished. But behind that, you got six guys within one, within two minutes, and five guys within one minute, all battling it out for podium places. And this is when the the, the tour it remains exciting. You remind you, you you remember that I told you Richie Port would win the tour. Everybody, since then, you know, everybody probably thought I was. Uh, absolutely crazy nuts and uh, talking nonsense which is true many times but you know you know t take my word we we we'll, we'll talk about it again uh, in paris i'm not saying richard Paul is going to win the tour i'm not saying he's not going to win the tour but i'm i'm saying that now he's very you know, getting closer to the podium each day and it's going to be exciting the second point but maybe rob will be better to talk about it than me was the technicalities of the time trial today uh, the fact that chris and Team Sky made exactly the right choices for equipment and material on that race. They used their computers, they used their algorithm, they, they used all the, 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 you know, the, the tools, the, the digital tools they've got uh, today to decide what kind of equipment to use. And obviously Team Sky in, in that field as well are way above the rest. Now the word is to Mr. Rob Arnold. Well, I mean, the funny thing was that Richie just used the standard road bike, um, and so did Roman Bardet, uh, Narad Quintana. I don't, I didn't examine what he was on, but uh, Chris Froome was on full time trial setup, including a disc wheel to come up a mountain, which you just wouldn't have heard of. The last time they did a climbing time trial at the Tour de France was 2004, when um, some a guy from America won at um, you know, Alpe d'Huez. And I remember that pretty clearly, and everyone pretty much rode a standard bike that day. Alpe d'Huez is a lot different to the TT we saw today, because it was up and down. And so the aero advantages are something that we hear a lot about when we're talking about the marketing of bikes. Um, it can save you X amount of watts, and, and it will save you over a certain amount of distance a certain amount of time and maybe everything that Froome did today did add up to that time saving that he took off from Tom Dumoulin because poor old Dutchie who's won two stages already was sitting in the hot seat for a couple of hours waiting for Froome to come in and um, he planned the stage meticulously and uh, I was very impressed to see this, this, this powerhouse coming up a mountain and setting a best time by a long shot and Richie and no one else could get in it within QE of him but uh, Froomey obliterated it with the marginal gains. I really hate to say it, but that's what it was today. They've really looked at everything and they've explored it and they've cut through the wind and, and Froomey rode a perfect race and you've got to take your hat off to him and say congrats. Has he won the tour? No, because it's going to rain in the next couple of days, so you can't ever say that it's done and dusted because, like, honestly, a slip of the pedals a slip of the wheels, I should say. A slip of the pedals. A slip of the wheels, and the the could go all could go awry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wouldn't want to be celebrating on a Thursday when the race finishes on a Sunday. It was a bit premature, wasn't it? No, I don't think so. I think he was probably celebrating a stage win. Uh, if I won a stage with the Tour de France, I'd be doing two-handed salutes, even if it was a time trial. But I'm never going to do that. And Froomey has done that. He's won a couple of time trials now. And, uh, but I'm pleased that Francois raised the point about Sharp in 2012 when Wigo did the, the because it was, it was a great picture and it was an image that we considered for the cover and I think that had Froomey not run up Mont Ventoux we will think about the, the salute in, in Megev today as a cover shot because it's fantastic in the yellow, race leader, winning a TT, beating superstar from Holland. It's a great, great scenario. I can talk all day but I'm getting the wind up. I'm finished. <laughs> He won a time trial today on a full time trial bike, disc wheels and everything, while everyone else was riding with boring old road bikes. Richie Port had some clip-ons, Roman Bardet did the same, and this is just boring as it